another revelations like movie. Out. Those of us who survived knew mankind could never survive. Because they pit us against each other, divide and conquer. Fourth, that our own volatile natures could simply no longer be raised. I'm just going to say our volatile nature is because of the way we have to pay to live or pay to survive. We can't live. While we're paying to survive, we cannot live. There's a difference between living and the cost of living, which is cost of surviving. You know, it's a lie. If we can cut that step out and that people had the uh, uh, latitude and longitude to be contributors, you know, cultivators, you know, of you know, eggs, chickens, whatever. If you have millions of Americans doing this, they have, you know, a latitude and longitude they can do this from. You can put them to work because there's a lot of people that want to work, you know, but they can't. Like retired people, for instance. They would do that. And you take it to supply houses or whatever. And literally everybody can have something, you know. You can actually go to work to better the economy. That we're not paying to survive anymore because we have that taken care of. That is taken care of. That should be taken care of. Everybody should have that freedom. To make it where someone else can survive and someone can't is un... It's unconstitutional. I mean, think about it. You take a, a turtle and throw it in a cage. And then just stop feeding it or watering it anything, anything. You create an environment that is going to kill that turtle. You know? And that's wrong. They create an environment and a world that can potentially kill people unless they're fortunate enough to be in a good situation already. You know? And if you want to make something, you can't really technically do it anymore. You know what makes wealth? Wealth. Okay? So, <laughs> it, it, it stays in its own regime, you know? And in the day a poor person got rich and decided, you know what, I'm sick of the way this shit goes down, and helped the people and was on the people's side and knew what it was like to struggle and suffer with these people, then they would change the way this country is ran. And... You know, people love Trump and all this. You know, I don't hate him. I don't love him. I ain't got nothing against him. I ain't got nothing for him. You know, I don't, I've never met him. I just know of him as being an ass. But, you know, I ain't going to say that of him, particularly because all of them are. Has any of them ever actually saved this country? No. All they did, got in, did some shit, made them a little bit of money, got out, you know. Then the next guy comes in, screws the country for a little bit, gets out. I mean, what are they doing? Just running the train on the country? I mean, come on. It's exactly what they're doing. It's going to take somebody that cares about the people to make it a great country, okay? Because the people are the country, all right? It's not going to be somebody that's looking for the best, best way to make some money because that's not what's important. The people are what's important because where the hell do you think the money comes from? If people had more money, they would spend more money. See what I'm saying? I mean, there's, this country could be fixed. It just takes somebody wanting to do it. And I swear... This book, I swear, I'm working on a book, and every dollar, I swear, every dollar will go into me trying to run or something to change this country because it can be so much better. Anyway, I'm digressing again. All right, look. The Grammaton Cleric. All right? A tetragrammaton is a four-letter word for God. All right? Okay, this guy on this is the Father. The Alpha. See what I'm saying? The Alpha. Everything derives from the Alpha. Our Holy Father, what is a whole? A whole is go it, 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 the Holy Ghost. Basically, what is a whole? It's space. Space is holy. Okay? The Holy Father would be the holy nuclear energy that's in there. That holy Alpha energy. That male energy that exists in the fathomless of space. The quarks. The self-born quarks that become protons, neutrons, and electrons. You know? So it's a lot more fundamental than people ever would think when it comes to the idea of God and, you know, quantum science and, you know, even connections in movies, you know. I mean, come on. I mean, it, look, I could give someone a solid answer on a lot of things that make perfect sense that they would have been like, wow, I never even would have thought of that. And it was right in front of me the whole time. Well, yeah, that's the whole, that's the whole point. To hide something in our faces so we don't see it so we sit and fight and argue with each other to make them rich, you know? If we're fighting, divide and conquer, 
then we're not paying attention to them. We're paying attention to what each other's thinking. You know, oh, well, I care about what you think. I care about what you think. You know, I, 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 you better think what I think. You know, when you can accept the fact that it's a diverse planet and we're all going to be diverse, but there's a lot of things that we share in common and there's a lot of similarities. And those are that we struggle and we have somebody that tells us what's to do, how to do it, and takes advantage of us and pushes us around. All of those most likely in that order. So I'm just trying to say, you know. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm saying too much. Anyway. Oh, task it is to seek out and eradicate See, another extinction thing, you know. Of man's inhumanity. Man's inhumanity is the, the government, you know, and money. That's our inhuma inhumanity. And if it's based off of that, then it's never going to change. It's never going to change. <laughs> basing on surviving instead of basing on living. I'm just going to say... If we, like I've said before, invest in our potential, we will never stop meeting up to it. And that is the truth. We will only get better. And each time somebody goes to work, they don't have to pay to survive anymore. They can have, you know, save up money to have something. And they're working, you know, and their bills and all that stuff's already paid up. So they're working to better the economy. And people don't have to give it all back just to, you know, live. Now, I understand food, yeah, buy food, you know. That's going to be packaged and all this, and people are going to be helping because they're going to have land to be able to do that, you know. And you have warehouses and processing, you know, that people take in, whatever, and that is processed, packaged, and distributed, you know. I mean, people can help, too, you know. It's not like we're totally helpless, and the people that want to work can't. You know, there needs to be a system set up that when you go and apply for a job, it's not you go and apply and maybe get it, maybe don't. You sign up, you get a job. You sign up for a job, you know. Not this crap, oh, you might, you might not, and then all based off nepotism. I mean, what the hell is a modern guy and an American man supposed to do? Or a woman? What, what are we supposed to do? Bust our asses to, to make ends meet and can barely barely get the, the, the ass of the chain to meet the head of the chain. I mean, it's like we're just one link away, you know? Can't ever make the end meet. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just saying. No, I'm going to throw this out there. You know, you got a lot of single fathers, single mothers out there trying to make ends meet. And then somebody that has a problem with them or any slight, and then you got social services breathing down their damn necks to make their lives worse, you know? And they just steal their kids, set them up in a home where you can, anybody off the streets can go sign up. I mean, they post things on the side of street corners. Hey, if you want to be a foster parent, come and sign up. You can be a bum on the streets and you can sign up and take care of somebody's kid because we think they're unfit. So we're going to basically take a child out of a loving, fit home and give them to some bum that signed up, you know, to be a foster parent. That's what they did to my children. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they put me through a year of hell. But I won. But I'm just saying. It's bullshit, man. I mean, this is, is this what we want? Is this what our forefathers actually thought? They, they, this is probably what they thought, because that's why they put the first ten, you know, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say Ten Commandments, you know, the first ten amendments into place, because they knew that governments would get powerful, and they knew that they would start raping the people, you know, and that's why they did what they did, and set up with gun control, you know. You know, I understand gun control, but if you take the guns away, People cannot defend themselves if the government wants to go ahead and go in and eradicate them, you know? You know, I mean, we should have a well-regulated militia. Every, every neighborhood. But people should be more responsible because it's not guns that kill people. It's people that kill people. It's not religion that kills people. It's people that kill people. Money and the love for it kills people. When it comes to the capitalism... Like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that capitalism isn't important. There should be some sort of it. capitalism in the society. But you do not capitalize on death. And you do not promote death and capitalize on that. And you sure as hell don't sit there and choose someone's life under money. I mean, oh, make money off of people's death. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a fucking joke. <laughs> no, no, get this. I think they got a, a a patent on cancer. You know why? Because anytime someone claims to have some kind of treatment or cure or something, anything, even if it's natural, that person goes to prison. Prison for what? Well, it's probably copyright infringement because they got a patent on it. There's no logical reason why a person helping somebody should go to prison for it, especially if it's cancer. All right? But if there's no money to be made, we could throw them in jail because we got a patent on it, you know? 
And if people think there's no patent on cancer and I'm out of my mind, think again. Because there's no legal reason they could do that. None. And the only way they'd be able to do something like that is if literally they had a patent on the damn disease that they're killing us with.